From the ages of 12 to 17, there were very few periods during which I wasn't creating something. Most of the time I was making YouTube videos, and every summer I would make at least one short film. However, there were one or two patches during which my creative expression did have to take a pause. And when reflecting on these periods, there's a noticeable correlation between my sense of being fulfilled and my creative productivity. The less I was engaged with my creativity, the less I felt a sense of direction and excitement in my day-to-day -day life. Because of things like creative burnout or writer's block, this link between my creativity and my sense of fulfillment was not always this simple. But on average, the takeaway from these five years of my adolescence can be that I'm living my best life when I am being an artist. But then I turned 18, and on the very same day, I graduated from secondary school. Wanting to pursue filmmaking and having some promising opportunities in front of me, I very intentionally decided to press pause on going to college for the time being. And I pursued the working world in September 2022. It quickly became clear that pursuing opportunities that would involve writing, directing, cinematography, and just storytelling fundamentally would be a lot harder than I originally anticipated, but I trusted myself to figure it out. However, things only got worse from that point on. Soon enough, it just felt like I was clocking in, earning my money, clocking out, and repeating. And this lifestyle is fine and acceptable for a lot of people, maybe most people, but for someone like me who had convinced himself that this path was gonna be one of great artistic stimulation, this lifestyle was devastating. So after 10 months of more or less living in my office and having had a pretty bruising professional encounter during those 10 months, I decided to go back to college in September. But before then, I would be heading to Prodigy Camp. Having felt as though I had been in a state of filmmaking limbo for 10 months, I made two films during these five days. Those two films, mixed with the profound emotional stimulation that this camp offered me, proved enough to light the fire that felt like it was going out. Those five days changed everything. So I came home from Leavenworth in Seattle, where the camp is based, and I went to college as planned, which if anything guaranteed that I would be getting out of my office more and seeing more of the world. And it proved to give me a sense of structure and social engagement that was definitely previously missing from my life. But that proved only to be the foundation of what was to come. Because as soon as I came home from Leavenworth, I received news that one, a kid series that I would be writing, directing and co-presenting was going to happen. And two, a treatment that I had submitted for the funding of a short film had been greenlit. Thus, in September, October and November, during my first semester in college, I would be making a kid series and a new short film. And this proved to be exactly the concentrated creativity that I had missed. And now it's December and I'm looking back on four months during which I directed four projects. And I'm happy to say that those four months were some of the most fulfilling months of my life. As a filmmaker, I want to win an Oscar and I want to earn selections and prizes at the world's largest film festivals, greatest film festivals, right? But perhaps all I actually need and all that is actually worth intentionally pursuing in this art is what I've already experienced over the last four months. Concentrated creativity. <laughs>